In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Cursor 50 times smarter using CodeSpring workflows. And to show you exactly how to do it, we are gonna build a functioning app with database fully integrated using only a handful of prompts. Because we want to avoid spending hundreds of dollars a month on AI tokens, like this guy who spent $250 on AI tokens in Lovable, or this guy who's burning 30 to 40% of his credits trying to fix the same problem over and over again, or this guy who's spending hundreds of dollars a month just to get more tokens to build his app. So here Here's the exact app that you're going to build if you follow this whole tutorial. We can go ahead and upload any CV and analyze it. We have integrated with a database. We have this CV here that's already been analyzed. You can see it directly inside the database here, CV1, the extracted text from the PDF file. And if we click on view results, we can see the overall score of this CV. We can see feedback that's specific to this CV and an overall summary. So let's just go back and upload a new CV so you can see exactly how this works. We're going to call this CV2. We're going to select any file from our computer. I'm going to go for this one here, and we're just going to click on Upload and Extract. It's going to go ahead and extract the text from that CV and tell us it's ready for analysis. If we come back to the database and refresh, you can see we've got CV2 here with the extracted text already integrated into the database. All we need to do is click on Analyze CV. It's going to send that CV directly to OpenAI and give us an analysis and tell us what we need to do to improve. So let's just look at the results. 5 out of 10 score, feedback specific to that CV, and you can see it's very specific information on what needs to be improved for that specific CV. And if we come back to the database, we can refresh, and we can see the analysis is now saved into the database. And the best part is we built this entire app in just three prompts using Cursor alongside CodeSpring. So watch the full tutorial and you'll be able to build exactly the same thing. So we're going to get started by planning out our project using CodeSpring. I've just written down a simple idea of what this project is going to be. Essentially, a user will upload their resume or PDF. We're going to extract the text from that PDF and let AI analyze it for us. And then I'm just going to list out the basic features. So we want to upload a PDF. We want to extract the text from this PDF send this text to OpenAI and receive analysis on the front end. Now we're going to go ahead and use the CodeSpring starter template that's already got payments integrated, database already linked, and security baked in. We're going to click generate with AI and CodeSpring is now going to go ahead and figure out exactly how to build this app for us. So let's fast forward to once this is done. And just like that, CodeSpring has mind mapped out the app we're trying to build. It's come up with a list of all the different features and figured out the tech stack. It knows we're going to be using OCR space to extract the text from a PDF file. And if we want to, we can add our own information as well. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to attach open AI. And we're just going to send the text from OCR space extraction directly to open AI for analysis. Now, one of the really cool things about CodeSpring is we can now come into each of these features and describe and plan out the user journeys of how they work. So if we go to the upload PDF area, it's actually gone ahead and started to do this for us. So I've actually added a bit of extra detail. We can go in here and say the upload PDF area allows authenticated users to upload their files securely to the application. I've added a bit of extra stuff here, explaining a bit more detail on how I want it to work. You can pause and read what I've written. Then for the extract text via the OCR API, we can expand this as well and you can see that the AI has planned out exactly how it wants this to work. And I've actually gone ahead and added in the documentation from OCR Space on how to do this. Now we're actually bringing out a feature that will pull this documentation for you automatically so you don't need to worry about it. But for now, I've just pasted this in here. That feature should be coming out in the next week or so. Now I'm not going to go through all of these, but we've also got the feature to send the text to OpenAI. And you can see here, again, I've just described the overview of what I want this to do and the information that I would like the AI to analyze. And again, it's gone ahead and described the user journey and the workflow for all of this. Now, when you're using CodeSpring, definitely spend a little bit of time. Make sure you save your mind map while you're working. Spend a bit of time planning out each of these features. And now comes the really, really powerful part. We're not even going to write a single prompt on how to do this. Again, we're trying to build all of these features in one hit just by using Cursor and we're going to get databases already set up for us. So to do this, we're going to come to this button here and click on plus, and we're going to generate a requirement doc. This requirement doc is going to be generated for each of the features that we are trying to build. So we're going to come into this one here as well, and we're just going to work through each of these features, generating a requirement doc for each of them. Now, once those are done, we're actually going to save them directly into cursor. So you can see the first one has been done. We can actually come to the context, and you can see it's using the tech stack 
of the CodeSpring boilerplate. Now we are already building on top of an existing app. There's lots of tutorials on our channel on how we got started with this and how we use the CodeSpring boilerplate. But the CodeSpring boilerplate, if we come into our code, has this folder here called DB with all of the database stuff that we need. Okay, so it's going to make it really, really easy for us to integrate with databases. Okay, so just like that, we've got each of these requirement docs generated. I'm just going to go ahead and download them all one by one just by clicking this download button here. And at the end of this week, we're actually having a feature which will integrate this directly into Cursor. So we won't have to do any of these next steps. It'll all be done for us. Cool. So now we're going to come into our project and we have a folder here called CodeSpring. I'm going to create a new folder inside it and I'm going to call this CV Analysis. I'm then going to come to Finder and I'm going to grab each of these requirement docs and I'm just going to paste them directly into this folder. So we have now got requirement docs for each of these features. And now comes the really fun and exciting part. This is the true vibe coding part of this. All we're going to do now is come to our app and I've already got started. We're going to build the CV analyzer in this page here. So we're going to copy the link where we want to build it. We're going to come directly into our chat and we're going to write this prompt here. So all I have said so far is in this URL here, I want you to build me this app in this order. And I've tagged the documentation that we've just pasted in in the order of the features. We need to upload first, extract the text, send it to OpenAI and so on. Now I'm going to say for this, we also need to build a table in our database. For this, the database will be only one table. Okay. And if we come to this first requirement doc here and we scroll down, you can see CodeSpring has already planned out the first database table for us. We've got CV schema. This will contain the CV name, the extracted text, and the analysis. Once we've done all of that, we are literally just going to send this through and get Cursor to build it for us. And then we don't have to do anything. We don't even have to write any prompts. We've just got it set up with this initial prompt. We've given it a little bit of direction that we want for the database, and Cursor is going to go ahead and work through this step by step. It's created a to-do list on what it needs to do, and we know for a fact that it's going to build this securely and efficiently because it's built on top of the CodeSpring boilerplate. What we're going to do is let this run. We'll come back once it's done. I'll walk through what it's completed, and we'll see if there's any bugs. Okay, so it looks like it's done a lot of the stuff that we needed. Let's come back to the app, and you can see it's already built the CV analyzer a section to our app that says how it works. We upload it, extract and analyze and get the feedback. Cool. So we've got an area to upload CVs, manage CVs, and we have an overview. Looks like it's putting together things quite nicely. We can name the CV and it's taken that information and it's introduced that directly into the app that we're building, which is really cool. So now what we need to do is actually test this. Also, you can see here, it's done some stuff to actually integrate and build the database. It's created us a CV schema. So to get that, working inside our current database, all we need to do is run the command npm run db colon generate. Okay, and this is only going to work if you use the code spring boilerplate. Then we're going to run npm run db colon migrate. And if we come back to our Superbase account, we can just refresh. Bam, look at that. We have CVs inside our database. We have the ability to have the user ID, the name of the CV, the extracted text, and the CV analysis. Again, exactly what we had planned inside our CodeSpring account. So now what we need to do is let's just refresh the app and we're going to go ahead and find a CV. So this is an example CV here. It's obviously got some stuff in there that's not going to be particularly useful, like some description, but we're going to go ahead and download this CV. So let's come back to our app now and actually test this. Now remember, everything has been done so far with one prompt. We haven't written anything. All we've done is use those product requirement docs that we planned inside CodeSpring. Let's see if we can upload the file. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and select the PDF file, showing it here. Looks really nice. Upload CV. Okay, so it failed to upload. Now this is going to be really easy to debug because of all the documentation we've already built. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this error that we got and we're going to write this prompt here. I'm going to tag the upload PDF area requirement doc. And we're going to say we aren't trying to upload a PDF to the database. Just send it to the OCR so we can actually extract the text. Then save the extracted text to the database. And we're just going to tag this file here, which is the CV schema. Okay. And if you don't know what that means, essentially that is the breakdown for this table here in our database. So you can see we've got CVs, we've got ID, user ID, name, extracted text. In this file, we've got ID, user ID, name, extracted text. 
Okay, so we're just gonna send this prompt through and see if it can fix that error for us. And just like I suspected, that was exactly the problem. It was trying to save the PDF file directly to the database, which we don't wanna do. We just want to send the PDF, extract the text, and then we're gonna save the extracted text to the database, which is exactly why we designed it like this. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll give this another go. We'll call this CV1. We're going to upload the file and click on Upload and Extract. It says extracting the text with OCR. Cool. So manage your CVs. Looks like it's working. Now, if we've built this correctly, we should have the CV already saved in the database. So let's just give it a refresh. And just like that, we have the CV saved in the database. We have the name of the CV and we have the extracted text of the CV. You can see here we've got the name of the person who's actually on that CV. If we scroll up to the top here, it's Ashley Gill. It is extracting the exact text. So all we need to do now is click on Analyze CV. What it's gonna do is send that text directly to OpenAI and hopefully if we've done this correctly, we should get a response from OpenAI that tells us the things that need to be done. Look at that, we've got view results. Okay, if we open up the database now, let's just refresh it. You can see we've got the analysis. Let's see if this has worked. Let's click on view results. And just like that, we have the analysis. Now we have got a little bit of an error here in terms of actually being able to see that data so we can go ahead and fix that bug. But we have now built a CV analysis app in just two prompts. The first prompt we sent through the requirement docs on how to build it, and the second prompt we just fixed a small bug, and now we have the app working. So instead of having to send 50 or 100 messages per feature, we just use the requirement docs and get it built really quickly. And because we are using the CodeSpring boilerplate, it's already got the database and stuff already linked, and we're gonna paste that as well. We're just gonna copy the raw analysis like this and we're gonna paste that through here. Okay, so hopefully it's now gone ahead and it's fixed that bug for us. So let's just come back to our app. We're gonna call this one CV2, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select this CV this time, so it's a different CV to last time. Upload and extract, and you can see here, it's actually uploaded it, ready for analysis. If we come into the database, we can see we've got CV2 and the extracted text from that for Caitlin here, which is obviously the PDF we just uploaded, and we're gonna click on analyze. Now hopefully this time we shall get a much clearer result for our analysis. So let's click on view results. It's given us an overall score, clarity and structure, six out of 10, skills and experience, seven out of 10. We've got some feedback. So improvement, improved clarity and correct spelling and grammatical errors, enhanced formatting. And then there's a summary about the CV. CV provides decent overview of Caitlin's background. However, it lacks clarity due to numerous spelling and grammatical mistakes. So that's really cool. We've now got an overall score of five out of 10 for this one. We can come back and view this one, got a four out of 10. And you can see the feedback and the results is specific to the CV. This is all fully integrated with a database as well. So if we refresh the database, you can see here we have the analysis. And we have built a CV analysis app just by sending three prompts through using the requirement docs generated inside CodeSpring. This makes it so much quicker and so much easier. So instead of spending hundreds of dollars on AI tokens, going around in circles, trying to fix the same problem over and over and over again, plan out your ideas first, give those ideas and the documentation directly to Cursor and get it to build your apps for you rapidly with a database ready to go and set up. So now you can deploy this and users can go ahead and create their first account, use your app, and you can also charge for your software as well if you use the CodeSpring boilerplate. This has massively speed up the process. We've got loads of cool features coming soon like integrations directly into cursor and also the requirement docs will go ahead and do research and find documentation for the specific features you're trying to build making the entire process so much smoother and so much easier for you if you want to grab a subscription the link is down below in the description